It's literally heaven for drone pilots. My family and I are at the Dead Sea on a guided trip here. And the landscape is pretty unique because it has been changing constantly for the last couple of decades because of the water retreating, waterline retreating. And that created some nice sinkholes and some really unique landscapes that you couldn't really see in Israel in any other place. So I figured I'll come here and try getting some cool shots because it's just a really good looking place. This is literally like another planet. <laughs> the landscape here is so beautiful. I just flew my drone for about an hour <laughs> straight and I didn't even film anything with this camera because it was just so gorgeous and unique. And I'd really like to come here to do a proper photo shoot or a documentary about the guys that are making like these kinds of tours just so beautiful. Literally another planet. <laughs> this video, this vlog is turning out because I've mainly been focused about getting some cinematic shots with my drone <laughs> and it, like the shots I'm getting from this camera are sort of eh but the shots I got from the drone I think are some of my best drone eh, are some of my best drone shots to date so I'm just happy about that we'll see what will come out of this video maybe it will be a Dead Sea cinematic drone video or vlog, we'll see the important thing is that I'm making content, honestly. <laughs> Point, and there's actually a way to get into the water so my family member decided to go in and they're going to try and swim to the Dead Sea from this like creek so I'm gonna take the drone up in the air see what kind of shots I can get because it's just so beautiful this place it's really I think it's hard to get a bad shot here because it's just so good
right taking some vertical panoramas and <laughs> it just looks so weird my face is so <laughs> distorted <laughs> wow we survived the landing with only five percent left and i have so many more shots they want to get but <laughs> I don't have enough batteries so I'll just have to come back here another day it's just awesome we, like the scenery here is something very unique and the shots you can get here are unreal and I'm just happy I, I don't even care how this vlog is turning out anymore I'm just happy that I got the shots that I've gotten because they're so fucking good God. <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> wow. That's a long fall. <laughs> that was a close one. Yes, I think we need to, to get back to the group because they're like a kilometer away. <laughs> wow. enough today is December 31st which means it's the last day of 2021 and this is literally the most unique place I've visited in 2021 so I guess the saying is true I saved the best for last <laughs> no but seriously this is literally the most unique place and the most visually appealing place I've been to in 2021 it's just so fucking beautiful and there's such a big variety of things to shoot and look at and especially with a drone it's literally heaven for drone pilots i wish i knew how to fly fpv drones so i could like fly inside the creeks and do some crazy stuff but i'll have to save that for the future so one of my goals to 2022 is to learn fpv come back here and do some crazy stuff let's see what video will come out of that <laughs> like Iceland <laughs> look at the color of the water and like the I want to say icicles but like it's made from salt so the salt icicles yes let's go with that <laughs> it really looks like ice and some really I don't know beautiful water <laughs> I just ruined it but like it looks like fucking Iceland and it's in the middle of the desert in Israel <laughs> it looks like glacier water, but it's salt water and it's so beautiful. The colors are so rich and deep and it's amazing. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I can't stress it enough. It's gorgeous. It doesn't look like we're in the middle of the desert. It looks like we're in, Antarct and, uh, we're in Antarctica or Iceland or Norway or somewhere. Because it's just like, look at the color of the water. and. The salt just makes it look like it's snowing or it's ice or something. <laughs> this place, the Dead Sea sinkholes, literally blew all of my expectations and it's just a really beautiful place. So if you're ever in Israel, I highly recommend you to come here and check it out because it's a very unique experience. I think it's the most beautiful, uh, it's the most, <coughs> I can't talk. God, it's the most beautiful place I've ever been to in Israel, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm so 
so tired. I slept for like an hour before the trip today because I had worked on my 2021 recap video and it took some time to do that. <laughs> I just talked to you when I'll come back home, guys. I think it was very good. I hope that you enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you. Honestly, I don't have a lot of things I want to say about the video because I think it sums it up pretty well. You saw my feelings, you saw how beautiful the Dead Sea Sinkholes are and I think that if you live in Israel or you visit Israel, this is a place you must go to because it's such a unique landscape and such a unique natural phenomenon that you have to sit with your own eyes to truly experience it and the video is nice and everything but being there is a completely different experience and you have to try it out for yourself I know about myself that I will be back there sometime during 2022 because I think there's such a huge potential in this place and I've only scratched a little bit of it so I want to go back there and make more content. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, maybe learned something from it or it maybe just helped you pass the time, I don't know. If you want to help me out you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, maybe follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. It was great hanging out with you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!